Fora TV. Idea Immersion. Visit us at www.fora.tv. But the other thing that you can do is we ourselves have to change our behavior. If in fact we could walk out tonight and buy a good electric car or buy an alternative fuel vehicle, would we do it? It's up to us to change our behavior if we're ultimately going to civilize the oil and auto industry and if we're ultimately going to stave off these terrible consequences that we pay for our addiction to oil. And we can start tonight. Every one of you that came here in a car, you can strike a blow for energy independence and you can reduce the lives per gallon tonight. In this book I talk about 10, 15 very simple steps and direct you to sources of information, simple things you can do to reduce your dependence on petroleum. Did you know that you can save about 2 or 3 percent of your gasoline use just by inflating your tires properly? And that if you go out here right now, most of the cars in this parking lot, their tires are not inflated properly. It's a simple thing. Uh, driving the speed limit. When you get on that freeway, instead of doing 75 or 80 when the, when the freeway is open, which may not be that often, but when it is, if you do 55, you can save another 10 or 15 percent of your fuel consumption, whatever kind of a car you drive. There's a bunch of other very simple tools that will allow you to do that and strike a blow for energy independence now. The second thing is, of course, when you buy a car, and some of our young people in the audience will be thinking in a couple of years about buying their first car. Buy the one that's the most fuel efficient for whatever your needs are. If you need a pickup truck, so be it. If you need a small two-door sedan, so be that. But buy the most fuel efficient one you can, whether it's a hybrid or just a very, very fuel efficient vehicle. That sends a message to the auto companies that that's what you want. And when you can, buy an alternative fuel vehicle. I drive a natural gas vehicle in Southern California. Ethanol is making a, a huge impact, and there's uh, about 5 or 6 percent of ethanol in every gallon of gasoline you buy today. So we're already displacing some of that petroleum. But we want to see E85 stations around California and around the rest of the country. That's 85 percent ethanol. And we want to make it from cellulosic material like uh, wood waste and debris from our, uh, from our restaurants and so forth. We can do that. The technology is there. But we need to demand the vehicles. We need to go ahead and purchase the fuel when it's available to send that market signal that we care. And of course, finally, one of the great hopes of our future is hydrogen. And I talk about that in great detail in the book. Uh, there's been a lot of trash talked about it, including in the movie uh, Who Killed the Electric Car? A lot of misunderstandings about it. And it can be something that isn't a whole lot better if you don't make the hydrogen from clean sources. There's technological hurdles. But the fact is, every car that's out here today could run on hydrogen. It's a combustible fuel like any other. But we need to demand it when the vehicles are available, which they will be in the next couple of years. We need to go ahead and purchase those and support that. And that's how we will kick this oil addiction. We can do better. We can be better. But only if we make those choices. Only if we decide to be 21st century patriots. But who among us will be the first to say, I can change my life a little so that my children will have a better life to live? Who among us will be the first to say, my life will not only be measured by the number on the bottom of a balance sheet, but by the balance of clean air and clean water and healthy landscapes that I bequeath to my children? Who among us will be the first to teach our children to live by that great admonition that a president of these United States gave to us 40 years ago when he said, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. Well, that's what we can do for our country. We can be 21st century patriots. We can redefine patriotism by embracing President Kennedy's challenge, by acting on it, and by teaching it to others. And when we do that, we become the greatest American patriots of them all. Thank you very much. Thanks for being here.